Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site and i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this floor beam okay which span is this is one column and that is other column now the span between these two column is 24 feet okay as you can see this is one column and that is the other column you can see this one so the span between two column is 24 feet now guys you can see the size of this column is 9 inch by 21 inches so this is ring size okay with concrete cover it will be 24 by 12 inches width is 12 inches and depth is 24 inches this is size of this beam okay and span is 24 feet now guys if you see here we have four steel rods at the bottom guys you can see clearly four steel rods at the bottom which dia is 16 millimeter one two three four we have four steel rods in tension zone but in compression zone guys you can see we have three steel rods which dia is 16 millimeter these two steel rods dia is 14 millimeter this one and this one but at the middle you can see this is 12 millimeter okay so these are steel reinforcement now guys if you see it's stirrup okay a ring which dia is 10 millimeter guys you can see this is 10 millimeter and hooks you can see which are bent on 90 degree so they did uh, one of the big mistake you can see uh, the ring uh, the, the hooks should be provided on 135 degree as i told you in many videos but they provide it on 90 degree which length is about three inches guys you can see it should not be less than three inches from the reference of aci or is code okay guys you can see here now the spacing of stirrup is up to six inches guys you can see as i told you in many videos that the first stirrup should be placed with minimum distance of two inches but they provide it at the distance of six inches this is six inches okay if you see guys at the distance of l by four you can see they provide it the distance of l by four six inches after that guys you can see this is about seven inches okay or you can say uh, 150 to 200 mm they kept the spacing between stirrups guys you can see the steel reinforcement details span is 24 feet four steel rods at the bottom three at the top middle dia is 12 millimeter side bars these two bars corner bars are 14 and bottom four steel rods and tension zone which are 16 millimeters okay so now guys at the distance of l by 4 they will start from this center to the distance of l by 4 they will provide extra steel rods at the distance of l by 4 because here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we will provide extra steel rods are bent up bar but they said we will provide extra steel rods they will provide two extra steel rods which dia will be about 16 millimeters okay guys you can see here so these are steel reinforcement now guys you can see the other guys you can see look at here the span is 24 feet this is short beam which span is 20 feet guys you can see you can see the steel reinforcement but here if you see guys for 16 millimeter for 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 20 feet span okay we have four steel rods at the bottom but if you see they used 14 millimeter die of steel rod four steel rods at the bottom and three at the top okay dia is 14 millimeter for this but if you see this one guys you can see they used 16 millimeter this is 24 feet span but guys at the bottom you can see in tension zone they provided extra steel rods which are three bars as you can see at the distance of four feet as you can see clearly look at here they provided extra steel rods at the bottom are in the junction between beam and column guys you can see if you see the size of as you can see if you see the size of uh, column so the size of the column is 18 by 18 inches as you can see they used here eight steel rods dia is 16 millimeter as you can see this is column size okay 
as you can see stirrups details bottom section top section etc This is 24 feet span and this short beam is 20 feet span. Column size is 18 by 18 inches. If you are working on construction side, so you should remember these points which I am telling you stirrups you can see the first step is placed up to two inches guys you can see up to two to three inches and the other is about four inches at the distance of l by four after that they increase the spacing of stirrups which is up to six to seven inches guys you can see as you can see four steel rods at the bottom and three at the top and tension zone we should provide maximum numbers compared to its top because steel is concrete is weak and tension but it's strong and compression